Welcome to the first of many installments of the 11 Out Alive Storm Trackers School. I'm meteorologist Wes Peary. You will probably see uh, all of the 11 Alive Storm Trackers giving you a little science lesson, or in this case, a little uh, science experiment that you can do at home. Now, this is going to take some materials. You may need to go buy some of this stuff from uh, like Walmart or the grocery store. Uh, it all should be in stock, however. So, let's get to it. First thing we're going to build is a barometer. Barometer measures the atmospheric pressure and we don't show it too much, but right now the pressure live is a uh, 30.22. It's steady, steadily rising, and that is the current condition as well. In Atlanta, it's 77 degrees recording this. Uh, pressure tells you a couple things. It kind of tell you if it's if pressure's high, it's usually going to be dry for an extended period of time, or if it's low or when it's uh, falling, it, rain will likely be on the way. So those are two really generic ways of using it. And people that have uh, arthritis or get migraines or headaches. They can definitely feel the change in pressure because their bones will start to ache or their head will start to act up. And so we kind of use that in some forecast graphics here. It's been pretty high and it's forecast has stayed pretty high, even though some showers and some thunderstorms are going to come through this weekend. I'm not going to see a big drop of pressure until it looks like later on next week. So here's what you need to make your very own barometer at home. You're going to need a glass, just like a drinking glass, a pencil, a straw, a spool, something that has the hole in the middle of it. So we're going to stick the pencil in the hole, a piece of paper, a uh, toothpick or a sewing needle, or maybe even a golf tee, anything like that. That will be like our pointer to go up and down and a balloon. So what you're going to do is you're going to stretch out the balloon, put it over top of the glass. You're going to take some glue, glue one end of the straw to the balloon. You're going to glue or tape your little needle or your pointer to the other end of the straw as well. That's the first main part. Second part is the pencil into the spool. You'll take the point of the pencil, put it into the, the spool just like that, and then you'll tape your card. Make sure you put the H on the top and the L on the bottom. You can put some little dash lines to kind of make it a more, more accurate or more detailed scale. And so as the pressure decreases or increases, the balloon will either go up or down. And so that will make your needle go up or down, indicating higher or lower pressure. So if the air pressure is lower, the balloon will be allowed to inflate a little bit, which will then push down on that needle. And the opposite happens. If there's high pressure, the atmosphere is literally pushing down on the balloon, which will then cause the needle to go up high, indicating the H, high low pressure right there. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Oh, I messed up. The second one is pretty simple as well, and it is a hygrometer. And this tells you how much moisture is in the air. Moisture, dew point, relative humidity. Sometimes we show the relative humidity. The higher the number, the more humid it is outside. And the same thing goes for the dew point. The higher the dew point, the more moisture there is outside. There is outside. And we show this dew point a lot, especially in the uh, the summertime when we start to get the heat index. So it feels like value is getting really warm. We're not seeing a whole lot of change in the humidity from yesterday and today. That being said, there's still going to be some showers and thunderstorms that do come through. So dew points right now, 50s and 60s for most of us. So that's kind of comfortable to humid. It's starting to get humid. I think we're going to be in the lower 80s for highs today, and you're definitely going to notice a little bit of that humidity. Probably noticing the, uh, the pollen outside as well. Very, very spring-like outside. So here's what you're going to need. A cardboard, a decent-sized piece of cardboard, maybe like a foot, foot and a half high. A strand of hair. Your best bet is to use hair because it will react the best. Two pieces of tape, plastic tape or clear tape works just fine. Uh, you can use a thumb knack or, or a push pin, thumb tack, pardon me, or maybe a needle or a, like anything that you can push through to hold a piece of construction paper in place. And this is going to be our, our pivot point to allow the arrow to go up and down. So what you'll do is you'll take the cardboard and you'll curve it off one side. So if this was the back end of the cardboard, you would have your front end right here and then a piece that helps make it stand up. So this is the back end of it. That's what the front end of it would look like. It'll dry humid and uh, dry on the top there with a few little dash lines. You're gonna take your piece of hair, tape the top of it to the top of the cardboard, and then tape the bottom of it to the midsection of this arrow right here. And then you're gonna attach the arrow with that pen or that thumbtack or whatever you can do to make something poke through the paper and the cardboard. And then as this strand of hair reacts to the humidity. Usually when it gets more humid outside, it starts to curl up a little bit and get shorter. As it gets less humid outside, it will expand. So as the piece of hair reacts to the humidity, this arrow will move up and down from dry and to humid. Now both these experiments, we will kind of have to watch over a course of several days. It's not gonna happen like 
from the end of the day to the beginning of the day uh, because they're really slow atmospheric atmosphere processes. So take a picture of it one day and then check back it the next day and compare how either of these two have changed. Be sure to look for the uh, instructions and the supplies you needed in this story on 11live.com and uh, keep an eye out for more of these. We're going to try to do Storm Tracker school lessons every single day next week and maybe even longer than that.